Hello and welcome to my channel and I am Stephanie and this is the week three wrap up for March. So March the 18th through the 24th. Oh, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I just finished a polycon this week. So I was super, super busy. Um, a polycon was from the 23rd until the 25th and it has been super crazy. Um, I'm actually filming this wrap up after everything was completed. You guys will be seeing a vlog sort of video for polycon here in the next week, week and a half, two weeks or so, hopefully, depending on how long it takes me to edit all that filmage and footage together and everything like that, put things together, make it all pretty for you guys. But the week that I actually, that led up to it, I actually read eight books. Yeah, read eight books. They were all audiobooks, so that made a huge difference. I was able to listen to quite a few, and three of them I listened to in the same day. Thank goodness there was a snow day here in the D.C. area uh, last Wednesday when I was preparing, so that helped out a lot to get all eight of these books read. But most of these are in preparation for a polycon, and I wanted to read books from the authors. So let's just get to what I actually read during that week and my feelings about those books. So the first book I read was Roomies by Christina Lauren. It is a new adult book that I'm categorizing it. I gave it three stars. As I said, I listened to it on audiobook. I wasn't completely feeling this book. It's about Calvin and Holland, and I just really, it just sort of went on for me. I mean, I know that Holland is this sort of rich girl, it seems, and she sort of becomes obsessed with this um, musician that plays in the subways in New York and stuff like that. One night she has a bit of an accident and he doesn't come to her rescue because he has some situ he has a situation going on. Well, then they finally become friends and then they possibly become more because of his situation and then her need to obsess with the guy. It just it fell flat for me. Um, I wasn't a big fan of it. So we'll just move along from that one. The next book was A Court of Thorns and Roses, which is also known as Akatar Number 1 by Sarah J. Mass. Oh, I listened to this on audiobook, and sadly, I gave this book two stars. I wasn't feeling this one as well. I, in the beginning of it, I spoiled myself by reading a few of the, a few of the reviews to find out that it is a Beauty and the Beast re- telling slash reimagining in the fantasy world and I just wasn't feeling it. I was okay with it. It was getting three stars and then it like jumped the shark and just went all off the rails for me and it just seemed like there was so much thrown in there that just just wasn't feeling it. And then I got them I got to meet Sarah J Mass and she is so sweet. Super super sweet lady and I'm actually going to give the next book in the series a, a, a try. I'm just going to do it and see. Um, I have been told that the second book is better, so I should just give it a try and go from there. The next book I read was Kiss by Ted Decker, and this was a mystery. It is March Mystery Month, so that checks off the blocks for my genre -thon. Uh, category for the month as well as one of the books for the 2018 romance roundabout I gave this book three stars and listened to it in audiobook and I just wasn't feeling it it really dragged me in in the beginning but then it just didn't really go anywhere for me and I was just like oh my god when is this book gonna be over but this story is about Sabrina she wakes up from an accident not being able to remember and then you have some other voices that appear into the book and there's this mystery about what happened to her brother and why it all happened the beginning of the book 
it actually gives you the sequence of events on what led to her losing her memory but it just it didn't get me to continue or i didn't understand the whole reasoning why they kept it a secret and it just bleh, bleh. three stars for that one the next book i read was the negotiator harbor city number one by avery flynn and i categorize this as a, a new adult book and i really really enjoyed this book i gave it four stars i listened to it on audiobook as i said this book has sawyer and clover so sawyer is this big time billionaire and he needs someone to be a buffer because his mother is trying to get him married really really trying to get him married so that he is not such a workaholic well he hires clover well clover answers an ad by his brother and becomes his buffer and their negotiations are fun it's sexy it's sweet it's a little a little emotional at times but it was really really i really enjoyed it and i can't wait to get to the next book in the next two books in the series as a matter of fact and i actually picked up the third book which hasn't been released yet while seeing avery at a polycon the next three books are from the same series and that is the royal series which is paper princess broken prince and twisted palace so we'll start off with Paper Princess. Uh, that is book number one by Aaron Watt. And these are all young adult books in this trilogy. Well, actually, it's a series now. But th the first three books go together. So Paper Princess, you are introduced to this young lady named Ella who is found because her dad wasn't really in the picture he was more of a sperm donor and her mom dies from an illness and she is doing her thing well she's underage so she has to her guardian ends up finding her and that is part of the royal family the royal family consists of a bunch of boys five boys as a matter of fact a set of twins and three other brothers well, this one she connects with the the brother reed and they're back and forth his he's a bad boy she is trying to find her way he tortures her not really tortures her but really gives her a hard time when she moves into the house because his dad is now being her guardian and yeah it really pulls you in and then in book number two which is the broken prince or broken prince um, this is the one I gave five stars to. This one really draws you into the story of Ella and Reed. And oh my goodness, that ending. That's all I can say about that. I'm not going to say anything more besides that ending was jaw dropping. Oh my goodness. And then finally, which is Twisted Palace, is the third book that I read. And I give this one four stars and this is their conclusion of their story together Ella and Reed's and whoo it answers some questions it takes its own little twists and turns it did fall a little flat for me but that's okay it still got four stars because I really enjoyed it overall I listened to all three of these books in a one day in audiobook form and I just could not put it down it was like I listened to the first one and then I was like I have to hear the second one and then I had to hear the third one and by the next thing I knew it was a day was over and I had listened to all three books then the final book that I read for last week was Mac Daddy by Penelope Ward and I really enjoyed this one. I placed this in contemporary. I gave it four stars. I listened to it as an audiobook. And this story follows Mac and Frankie. Well, this is more of a second chance lost love story. Mackie and Frankie. Mac? Mac and Frankie were college roommates. And they really were friends. And then they sort of had a splitting where he went his own direction and she went her own direction she becomes a teacher and he is an intel person because of who his family is and everything like that well 
their journey to rekindling their romance because both of them held their feelings to themselves when they were in college and when they were roommates it was fun it was sweet mac is an amazing dad oh my goodness and frankie is an amazing teacher i just really really enjoyed the story i felt it i felt the emotion that went into it and it just was real swoony and there are some sex pots in there so it was nice and fun and everything like that so those are the books that i read for the week of march 18th to the 24th hopefully i can get this up and then you guys will be able to also see the footage like i said of a polycon here soon but let me know down in the comments if you guys have read any of those books what you thought about them and that would be all as always if you enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel also there is a feedback form down in the description box so you guys can help me improve my channel thank you for watching and we will see you guys later